Hi everyone, this is Sergei Mokrov speaking. This video is a call to everybody who identifies with MacTow as a label, as a sign, as an idea, and even to some extent to people who identify with the red pill. For a long time I have been living under the impression that MacTow meant three crucial things. First, it was about men going their own way, so it's a man's thing. The second thing is about men going somewhere, so it's about development of some kind. And the third and crucial thing is going your own way. So you have to own. It's not some fixed way, it's a personal way to everyone. And it was that freedom which allowed me to explore the things I wanted to explore, to develop the things I wanted to develop, and in general to move where I wanted to move. You know there is a saying, don't swim down the river, don't swim up the river, swim where you need to. And so I did. Yet, some time ago, a new tendency appeared. People come to my channel and to some other channels and say things like You are not real MacTow. A real MacTow should correspond to a list, a certain checklist. And these checklists vary between people. So, for example, some people find it un MacTow to be religious. Some people find it un MacTow to be in a long term relationship with a woman. And some people say, as I just experienced a few days ago, that if you have kids, or you want to have kids, you are also not a real MacTow. And they either imply or say directly that I should not wear MacTow label, that I don't deserve it, that I am misleading people, and they like, take it away from me. I am not sure yet how to respond to all of this. I've been under the impression that there cannot be any MacTow manifesto, there cannot be any MacTow organization, and it's at the same time a strong point and a weak point in the whole idea of MacTow. Or maybe I just misunderstood the whole idea. Maybe the persons who brought in this term MacTow, maybe they meant the way as singular, so it's the way. And that way goes from women in general, and even from society. To me it seems like having an external reference point, like a denial of something. But a denial of something is an exoskeleton. Maybe the correct acronym should have been men going their own ways, in plural. I'm not sure anymore. While there isn't many people who come around and tell you that you are not a real MacTow, and real MacTow should be this and this and this, I can argue a bit with each one of them, and try to explain my understanding of what a MacTow means. But since the tendency is growing, the numbers are growing, and there come a lot of these people, much more than a year ago, let's say, I can see a problem on the horizon and it's clearly visible already. I don't want to spend a lot of time defending my position and my understanding of MacTow as a term, as a sign, as an idea. If this space becomes too stiff to have my own way as I want it to be, and I just have to contemplate dropping the MacTow label, the MacTow acronym, and in general to part my ways with this way, since it's THE way, not ways. It's a sad decision, and I'm not yet prepared, I'm not yet ready to make it, but I am seriously contemplating it. I see some other people going through the same troubles, the same questions. Maybe somebody is dropping the label because of subscription, or the fear of censorship, or drop of the income, in some other way. But it's not my situation, since I don't have a Patreon account, my channel is not monetized, 
I have never had a flagged video or blocked video or censored in any other way. Yet I live in constant preparation to leave YouTube for another platform, if need be. That's not a problem. I don't consider the number of subscriptions to be the most important part of what I do. So far, MGTOW has been a great flag, a great sign, an easy way to identify myself, both to self-identify and to describe to people what is it that I do. So probably I would have to re-identify myself. It's important for me, it's important for people who listen to what I have to say, to people who I work with. And it's a tough question. Since MacTow checklist doesn't describe me very well, how should I call myself? Maybe a philosopher, a free philosopher. Or an ex MacTow, meaning both that I identified formerly with MacTow and that I came from this community. I'm not sure, is this a clever way to dismantle MacTow? Or people just honest about it and they don't get it that anger is not part of MacTow and being alone is not a part of MacTow necessarily. So to me all of it seems like a hijacking. But I value the freedom and the idea more than I value the label and the term. So if this tendency continues to grow, I'm already prepared to drop the flag and drop the label. Let them have it. They want to own it, let them own it. They want to go the way, let them go the way. And I want to go my way. I like what Monty Roberts said during his Join Up presentation. After many years of championships, they threw me out of their Hall of Fame because I didn't respect tradition. But that's okay. If traditions have to be respected to such an extent that you can't improve, then I don't want to be in their Hall of Fame. End quote. It's a sad thing happening. Something for all of us to reflect on. If you have any thoughts or comments, please welcome. Thanks. Bye.